Hey everyone, it's Sarah Thredster Nurse RN .com, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the P wave which is found on the ECG. So let's get started. The P wave represents atrial depolarization. So this leads to the contraction of the atria, which is created by the SA node. So whenever those atria contract, it creates this little wave. So P wave should always be present in a rhythm if it's normal. And there should be one P wave in front of one QRS complex. And they should be up like this. They should be round. They shouldn't be flat. And their measurement should be less than 0.12 seconds so no more than three squares so whenever you're looking at the P wave look at those squares that it's taking up and count them because remember each small square represents 0.04 seconds now let's apply this information we have learned and analyze a rhythm so to do this you want to use an EKG strip that's at least six seconds long and we're thinking of the three R's we're thinking of regularity of those P waves the rate and the resemblance first regularity ask yourself are the P waves occurring at the same regularity as the consecutive P waves on that EKG strip? And the P waves represent atrial. So with your calipers, you can start at the first P wave, spread it out to the second P wave, and just go from P wave to P wave and make sure that they're all lining up the same distance. If you don't have calipers, you could use some paper. Then look at the rate of those P waves. Count the P waves within that six second strip, then multiply by 10, and this is the atrial rate. The atrial rate should be around 60 to 100 beats per minute for normal sinus rhythm. Then the resemblance, how do they look? Do they resemble a P P wave how a P wave should look because there should be only one P wave in front of every QRS complex so is that happening are all the P waves identical and how they're round pointing up and are they less than 0.12 seconds less than three squares so look at the P wave and count those squares underneath okay so that wraps up this video and if you'd like to watch more videos on ECG interpretation you can access the link in the YouTube description below